Okay, this red graph is the graph of y equals the natural log of the quantity x squared plus y squared. Symmetric about the y-axis. And I've let x sub 1 equal the opposite of the square root of e to the ninth minus 81, and y sub 1 equals 9. And then I plotted the point x sub 1, y sub 1 to show that, yeah, it looks like it is on the graph of that function. But the question is, how do we find y prime, or the derivative of that function? Uh, since uh, we cannot solve for y explicitly in terms of x, we have to use implicit differentiation. So down here, I've used the expression dy dx to represent y prime. In subsequent steps, I'll just replace that with y prime. So the derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx equals, to take the derivative of a natural logarithmic function, you put 1 over the parameter, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. That's the chain rule. The derivative of x squared with respect to x is 2x by the power rule. The derivative of y squared with respect to x is 2y by the power rule, then multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is the derivative of y. That's the chain rule, dy dx. So here I've rewritten that with dy dx replaced with y prime. <clears throat> the idea is to multiply both sides of this equation by x squared plus y squared, moving towards isolating the terms containing y prime. So y prime times this expression is y prime x squared plus y prime times y squared equals 2x plus 2y y prime. Now I want to collect the terms containing y prime on the same side of the equal sign. So I'll subtract 2y y prime from both sides. Factor out the y prime from each of those terms getting y prime times the quantity x squared plus y squared minus 2y equals 2x. Now I divide both sides by this coefficient of y prime, and that's what we get right here. Okay, so g of xy is the derivative, 2x over the quantity x squared plus y squared minus 2y. Uh, to show that that looks like it's right, Here's that same function graphed, and I've calculated the slope of a tangent line as the derivative at the point x sub 1, y sub 1, and then I've written in slope, uh, point slope form the equation of that tangent line. y minus y sub 1 equals the slope, which we got by uh, evaluating the first derivative, g at x sub 1, y sub 1 times the quantity x minus x sub 1. And that black line sure looks like a tangent line to the curve at that point. Okay, so that formula looks like it's doing the trick. It's a formula for slopes of tangent lines to the graph of the original function. Okay, hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.